What's up guys, Spurgus here, and welcome back to Vampir, where we, well, we have sucked out our first target. It was Senor Oswaldo Thatcher. Yeah, we embodied him. We, we sucked him really, really hard. Now, um, we do have some more investigations, like over here, um, Senora, what's her name? Thelma Howcraft. Is that the crazy bitch? I think it is. Yes, we have an investigation. So let's uh, talk to Selma. What? what Se Selma? You're not Selma. You're not Selma. What the fuck's... There's Selma. Hello, Selma. I, I have Good some evening, news for you. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. So do I. Oh yes, so do I. Tell me about vampires. Senora, what's your face? Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. No. No, you're not. You're a delusional woman. You know nothing about vampires. You could be in danger, Senora. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. How would you know, bitch? How would you know? We don't know if these strange phenomena has happened before society or if society created strange beings. Dun dun dun. Tell me, Thelma. Why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Of course. So, you want to suck him? Like a vampire or like a lady? Would you, you know? say you and Mr. Elwood romantically involved no no thomas is a delicate soul <laughs> even though he disguises it but i am not the woman he needs <laughs> no for i am a vampire doctor well but still i'm pretty sure even vampires need some dick do you plan to make him a vampire too of course not how could i inflict my curse on anybody else i'm not that cruel doctor why not it's fun it's really, really fun. All right. Um, about these men. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, well, doctor. he didn't. Why because I'm not a mortal. Well, nobody's searching for you anymore. There is no hunt and nobody is searching for you. You're no threat to this hospital, and you have my word, you are perfectly safe here. Your lies demean you, Doctor. Do you really expect me to lower my guard? I know exactly who I am, and what I am dealing with. <sighs> well... We can mesmerize her. I'll leave you, Mistress Yet. of the Dark, To your nocturnal act. Mistress of the Dick? That's who she is. Anyways, the success, the, the, the investigation is succeeded. So, wait a second. Um, wait, wait, wait. Like, are these all the investigations we can have, or are they going to disappear at some point, too? Because I think it, it, it's like little investigations. But then again, I'm pretty sure there's like more than just two chapters. So, I'm pretty sure we're still like at the beginning of the game. Like really, really early. Even though we already do have some some episodes down the road but overall i think we're quite fresh um 
Over here, we have um, reported by the Whitaker. Forest Whitaker. He's somewhere over here. All right. There's no quick, uh, quick, 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 quick travel in the game, right? Appears so. It appears not. It, it's not. Who wants to die? Hey, who wants to die? Is there nobody to kill? There is. Yeah, suckers. Oh, you bastard. You motherfucker. This is my blood. Fuck's sake. Who the fuck is up there? Oh, would you just leave this now? Wait, how do I? Oh, yeah, right. I forgot how to run for a second. You bastard. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got blood in my tummy. It would be awesome if when you kill somebody, you get more experience points or something out of it. But you don't. So it's not awesome, it's just a bit, it's a bit shit. Oh, thank you for that. I have Where am I? I'm going the wrong direction, right? Of blood. How can I attack you from here? But surprise Rex or something? Attacks from above or so? Don't see any surprise from attacks from above. Suckers! Ah, oh, you bastard! It's not nice. Ah, you don't like it, do you? Huh? Little bitch. All right, I know how to fight around here. That's that's this is good. This is some good shit, people. I like how I, I, I the fights are working actually just just fine. And it's a bit a bit easy, but overall looking just fine. What are you doing? Oh, I thought this was a proven guy, but it's a uh, what you call it? Oh, fuck's sake. Bitch. Seriously, those proven guys are over here, and there's a like a vampire thing with Iggy on the other side, and they're just too oblivious to see anything. How would they know? How would they know that I'm a vampire? How do they know? Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> That's how shit gets done. Nice. I like me powers. Me powers sounds sounds nice. Get some nice powers. Austin powers. So, is there another one? It's a large breast. Seriously? Don't they see the last large beast? No, you don't. <laughs> that was good. Oh, you fucker. You little son of a bitch. Just there, you go. Yeah. 
That should be taken care of now. Okay. Well, we were just walking around now. That took about five minutes to get from one place to the other. We're still not done. Hello, sir. A leech! A leech! I'm no leech. You're just a dead pit. Oh, you motherfucker. Well, the vermin did die. That's 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 what what they get right at least. Sucky, sucky, sucky. Motherfucky. Come on. Are they on? Wait, no, there's into a safe house. We don't need to go to a safe house. It's locked. What? Why is this still locked? For fuck's sake. Oh, man. Well, this is, the, I think, the fastest way to get through here. But it's also a bit stupid because it's a loading screen. Why the fuck is it a loading screen? Why is the safe house a loading screen? And why not? Because we can go from one chapter to the other. Oh, not chapter. District to the other without any problems. But, 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 but the other thing, um, you know, the stuff. Yeah, this hideout here has a loading screen. What the hell? What the actual hell? Misa no understand. And this is also a very, very small area. Now, maybe at some point, like something opens up in here, and this is not just a very small area, but also a, like a main quest area. Ah. Mm. You fucker. No, not this one. This one. No, you don't. Bitch. Well. Seriously, there's more stuff in here? Yeah, we'll get just we we'll just get more stuff. What right, this oh yeah, how 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 you do it? Refill them all. Because why no do. Uh let's go to sleep. No quite. First let's look around here. We got the serums. Now why do I want to do this? I don't I don't know. Don't have any treatments yet, but um I, I, I I'm not sure if I need any? Who's sick? Oh yeah, everybody's sick. <laughs> um, oh, fuck's sake, the loading screen was... Um, over here, it's quite fine. But this one... is only healthy. Sanitized will never happen because I think we... we, we, we killed one, that's why it's never going to be sanitized. That's why the 1% is always missing. But what's the point of getting it sanitized? I, I don't think there is one. Now you don't want to get it, I think, hostile. Um, but well, we're gonna we're gonna manage at least one district to become hostile and one district to become sanitized. Mm. Oh, fuck's sake! There you go. We have a lot of what, one, two, three fatigue. Migraine, oh, because, oh, wait a second, before we do that, we need to do something else. We need to go to sleep first before we uh, do something. Upgrade. Can I upgrade you? I cannot. I cannot. Using that one, right? Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. All right. First, we need to go to sleep, but I don't want to go to. One thousand seven hundred. It's not enough. We're not going to go to sleep now. It's just not enough experience points. It won't give us much. So we have. Okay. So it does make sense to now look at them because I thought I would go to sleep, um, and when we go to sleep, well, people get sick and stuff. So we got one, two, three. Fatigue, four fatigue, two migraine, 
one cold and one from heat. So it's full fatigue. One, one cold, one burn kitties, and well, migraine. There's two migraines, right? Yes, sir, it was. All right. But what we have, we, we have plenty of shit. Plenty, plenty of shit that we can use to. <clears throat> what do we call it? Craft for crafting. Yeah, that's the stuff. Now, what I don't know is, what the fuck do they have a loading screen? <laughs> Did they mention that I find this loading screen um, not only, how to say, shit, but also stupid? Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I find it quite shitty stupid. At any rate, what the fuck are we? Like, what the fuck are we? Are we in the same place? No, I... Somewhat differently. Oh yeah, we, 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 we managed to get actually somewhere. Now where the fuck is... Father, what's your name? Do you see... Okay, it says healthy. Joe Peterson, you're healthy, right? Yeah, he's he healthy. Joe Peterson, yes, yes. But who... Who not healthy? Whitaker. Hey, father. I got some shit for you. Good evening, Mr. Whitaker. It's Father Whitaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? A bit, yes. Quite a bit, yes. What do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Well, the hidden truth is that you suck dick, father. I am. Little boy dick. the answers I seek are based on facts, not superstition. You got something new? Yes, we do. Confess your crimes, father. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. Of course, but is it righteous to suck little boys' dicks? I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. Mm. Yes. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No. No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself. The proliferating sick. But you're not a man of science, so how would you know? You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Of Reed. course you do. I am you crazy fucker. I thousands of innocents I save each night. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood. Sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. Tell me more. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast. The announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. 
She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Totally. Why did I... You... Good evening. It's far... Okay, that was weird. I have found Samuel, your <laughs> With the loading disciple. screen thingy. I am afraid I Flash. have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. Well, shoulda, woulda, coulda, buddy. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Oh, I accept. I accept. I have had enough so, for tonight. Fuck off, father. Good, we, we, we did that investigation too. So we're investigating quite a lot, I guess. Um, the point is... No. There's a box. What's in the box? But we're not gonna check out the box. Unless, of course, well, we can, we can just... Since we're here. So just right here. Damn it, we're not here. Um, no, it's hidden. Oh no, it's not hidden. Are you are you something to kill? Yeah, it looks like it. Burn it, boy! Damn it! Oh, there's a beast. <laughs> Fucker. No beast, don't don't attack me. Attack him. Where's the beast? There's the beast. Beastie boys. Nice beast. I do get most experience points for the beast killing it. I like that. Oh, you don't like it, eh? Okay. I like my new powers. The beast can go piss off himself. So, looking good. I mean, that's fine. Just go ahead and kill those bastards. So, where's it? Oh, the skull is on the other side. So we have somewhere around here a little box. Box. A loose, loose part. Part, but, but, bird, loose box. What the fuck? Oh, there's another beast. Beastie boy. But I can't get over there. Now it's in here. Questions where? That's just money. I don't need money. Well, I do need money. I always like money, but... Where's the box? What's in the box? Can you just jump down? Yeah, there I go. Hmm. Now, who knows where it is? Could be also upstairs there. Most likely up there. This could be the box. There it is. Thought he lost. <laughs> There's a letter inside. Huh. There is a letter inside. So where is now? Wait. <laughs> Barrett. There is no easy way to say it, so I'm going to be blunt. Emily Blunt. Now I have to turn into Emily Blunt. We can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us. Yeah, so it is Jane Peterson. Um, <laughs> it's actually a woman anyways. About his wife and his best friend. It will crush him. And then he will fucking kill you and you crush your little balls. Because I suck them dry. Like on one, one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday... Thursday off because, you know, you need the day off. And Friday again. We had some good fucking time. Let's fuck it. I never going to be Jane fucking Lewis. You know it. And I know it too. So I'm ending this. Right here, right now. If you agree with my decision, 
please cross on yes and if you don't please cross on no and then go fuck yourself i'm sure we'll find a way to be uh um, to be to be to be happy again there you go i skipped this um a line joe you and me in time and then the most important part of our story will have been preserved until that day i wish you'd forgive me goodbye a well. love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give to? Well, we're going to give it to, 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 where is, wait, 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 wait. Who are the best again? Barrett Lewis and Joe Peterson. Of course I'm going to give it to Joe Peterson. Let's see if he's going to kill somebody. It could be fun. <laughs> You know, we could be just like, ah, oh, be fine with it. No. Hey, buddies. Oh, what the hell? That, that fucker just... Oh, would you just... So that works. Now I need to get back again. I don't know where I am. That's the main issue. I forgot where I am. Can I? No. I think I'm at the edge of... No, I'm not at the edge of the map. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, buddy. Leave over here. What is this? I want to get out of here. I'm lost. <laughs> Shit. Now back here, I think there's the beast. Yeah. Now I don't really want to fight the beast, but since we're here, excuse me, senor. Oh fucking hell. Ah, you bastard! Nice. Damn, that shotgun is... Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. That shotgun was doing some really nice damage on the beast, mate. Some really, really nice damage. But, alright. I need to get the fuck out of here. Seriously. So, this is... Um... Oh, for fuck's sake. A dead end or maybe over here there you go no not quite where the fuck am i all right i think we, we're having we're heading somewhere bird lewis no oh, peterson please, i don't have your money come on barrett you know the game you pay for peace of mind can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Who are you again? Joe, Joe Peterson, yes. Joe Peterson. You again? What do you want this time? I want to help you, buddy. Um... How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. No? But this is the only job I've found. Actually, actually it's, it and seems like really funny. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the wet boot boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Duty, 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 duty. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you made. I don't care what you think, sir. I do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy sir oh do you really think he's the poor victim here of course Barrett can be the poor, poor bastard anyone long ago i even called the bastard my best friend but then he fucked your wife harry doesn't seem happy living in whitechapel why did you make him come here i've always put my son's interests above everything else whatever he may think our house is small but affordable the walls are thin 
but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Yeah, stupid children. Anyways, so no regrets at all? Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. Let me guess. Confidence. She 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 suffocated. She choked she choked on Senor Lewis Dick. Enormous big dick. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested. Are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Well, 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 well that, that, that sounds like a um, fun thing to do. Uh, hopefully you just kind of phone me up or something and then I can watch. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. People won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Yeah, because his son is... He's, he's not weak. He just sucks. Balls. I think the documents in this box could be of some interest to you. Really? Where'd you get it? I found it in an abandoned building nearby. I thought you might want to keep these letters. Let me see. Ah, letters about my boy. Thank you, sir. You do not appear surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father, and that's all there is to know, don't you think? Yes, I suppose you're right. Here's a little something for your trouble. And to remind you to keep your mouth shut about all this. Well, that's... That's just... I Goodbye, wanted you Mr. to just go over here. Like, where, where's the dick? There's one, Big Dick Johnson. And just kill the shit out of him. Fancy buying something, sir? You never lose your focus, do you? That's just... Damn. Barrett. You had really disappointing. Really, wife. really disappointing. Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Yes, now you're suffering for it. Now you, you're suffering for getting sucked. Yeah, that's about... And now that's the, that's the circle of sucking. Do you mean and now, or in the future, we're going to suck him also. No one will ever but know a bit sure. differently than, than uh, Mr. Peterson's wife. Well, I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. No, you would have been. Look at you. Look at you, you sucking cunt. Joe Peterson. He's the villain here, isn't he? But you seem to know each other. I'd known Joe for years. I saw him box once or twice. He was a friend then. But these days, he's just another thug. What can you tell me about Mr. Peterson? Besides his behavior toward you, obviously. Colossus Joe was a decent boxer. Good one, even. But after his wife passed away, he found every excuse to stop training. Just wanted to pick fights with everyone. Mm. Without making excuses for him, it's safe to say that despair can poison even the sanest mind. We've all had some rough times, ain't we? But most of us don't use our fists to see us through. Yes, but most of us also don't be like whiny bitches like you. Mr. Lewis. And no one has ever stood up to this thug. Nobody would be fool enough to stand against a wet boot boy. What do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. 
He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow a pair. What troubles him, exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Sucks to be him, Wait. I guess. Show me. What you got? Mm, nothing, really. I don't want to sell any of that. I don't want to sell any of that. I don't want to sell any of that. Now we're, 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 we're good. Wait. 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 Right then. The common handle parts and the common trigger parts. Um, I, I forgot which one I need. God fucking damn it. How much would it cost us? Well, we do need... We need the good handle parts by multiple. But that's also quite expensive, mate. We're not 60. That's... That's a bit. Um, then they have a tiny common handle part. And we have a normal common handle part. So, that's fine. Um, Alright. Let's leave it at that. I know it's hard to believe, but this district has all... He's been Now where again are all the sick people around here? Like, I forgot where the fuckers are. Now here, Peterson, I know where you are. You're, you're, you're in here. Harry. Harry. May I come in? Sure. Harry. My dreams are soaked with glue. So, Senor Harry. May I? I'm not bothered. Do I have any questions for you? Nope. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Well, the thing is, like, when your mother died, he didn't really can't had the reason to come back because who else is going to fuck? You were a bit too young, and uh, your father is not like the kind of guy who's like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna take it up my ass. Maybe he is. Hmm. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Yeah, so well then just maybe I should just have to suck you up too. Wouldn't that be something, eh? Nobody has to worry about Colossus Joe you anymore. When Barrett Lewis was close to your family, to your mother. Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. Well, all right then. I got a cure for you. How do I... Wait, how do I do this again? Goodbye, young man. Damn it. How do I cure the best so, again? I'm not bot. Um, I forgot how to... Do you need oh, any right. medical help? Oh, right. R1, yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. You'll feel better. I'm not sure. Goodbye, young man. Shut up, young man. Take care of yourself. And go fuck yourself. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Yes, pretty much. Don't worry. Your pain and suffering will end soon. Soon. It's locked, all right. <laughs> soon. <laughs> Now, people, people there, eh? 
Little party people. There's the Andrews. Darius Precarious. Precarious the Darius. Um, we're gonna check out the, the, that building here. But I wanted to just have a look around here too. Where are the sick? Oh, there's, there's, there's a sicky. Yeah, it was sicky. Little fucker. Good evening, Benjamin. I'm afraid. I'm afraid not. Mm. It's like oh, he's like taking a dump just about now. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, lock me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. It's a pity that doctors still practice such barbaric methods. It's a dishonor to our profession. Now only the pills stop me thinking about this shit. To not hear the explosions. I'm even scared of the dark these days. Well, who isn't? Well, a gun, <laughs> alcohol. Um, at least no Canadians. Good evening. Ah. I'm afraid not. So, uh, I got some shit for you. You don't seem well, Benjamin. I always feel ill, sir. It's like... I can try to help your body heal, sir. The war destroyed me. You don't seem well. No, thank you. A gun, alcohol. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Rest to evolve. Yeah, I don't need to rest to evolve. We don't have enough enough experience points. We need like I don't know, fifty thousand experience points, or less. But <clears throat> guys, I think it is time. How how do we do with investigations right now? The only one is this one. Find to whom the scarf belongs to. I don't fucking know what the fucking scarf is. But other than that, we have no other investigations. Now, do we have a? We have no marker for that. We have no marker for that. But I think I have to talk to either. Does it say something? Um, Gracia Popa has lost the scarf of her brother, or her brother gave her before she fled to Romania and came to Inglés. To retrieve this cherished souvenir would mean a lot to the young woman. Find out who the scarf with. Okay, I'm, I'm, did I find the scarf already? I don't remember it. I think I found it already. I'm like. 10% sure. Albert Palmer. Look at you again. He's somewhere around here. But it's fine. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And in the next episode, we're just going to go inside Precarious Darius's house. And then we're going to find. What's her name again? Forget, forget her name. Right. Dorothy Crane. That cunt. Gonna get her. We're gonna hunt her down. And then the pillar of this um, district will crumble. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.